So I'm going to start this video by being honest with you guys. Originally, I'd planned on making this video about six months ago when I purchased this cloth and it was going to be sort of like a sarcastic parody of the apple polishing cloth. It was going to be like every other YouTube channel poking at it, making fun of it. How can it be so expensive? Well, I was going through my drawer and the cloth popped up and then it sort of dawned on me. So Apple gets a lot of criticism for re-releasing technology that's been introduced to the world five to 10 years down the line. And every time they do it, they rebrand it as their own. But one thing's for sure, every time they release a product, it's refined and usually 95% of the people that use that product are very happy with it. So it had me thinking, is this polishing cloth actually worth the money? And is it actually the best polishing cloth in the world? We'll find out. Hi guys, my name is Manuel Tall and welcome to today's video. I'm gonna be unboxing or unwrapping the polishing cloth uh, and to see uh, what the fuss is about, whether or not it's a good purchase or if it's just another Apple gimmick that millions of people have fallen for. Also guys, before we jump into the unboxing, if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, your views, likes, and subscriptions help propel this channel and appreciate every one of you guys. So the polishing cloth comes in this paper packaging, uh, very simple, just basic manufacturing details on the back. Nothing too crazy. Uh, a little flimsy for Apple packaging and very easy to access. Just strip down side opening and the cloth from the inside pops right out. Inside you have the cloth and within the cloth, you actually have an instruction sort of a uh, booklet. It's more of a pamphlet and it sort of just shows you the directions on how to use a cloth. And it also recommends using 70% isopropyl alcohol if you're having difficulty removing stains. Other than that, the polishing cloth has the Apple logo on the bottom right hand side and it's 6.3 by 6.3 inches in dimension. Now a really interesting thing about the Apple polishing cloth is if you go to the website, they actually have a list of compatible devices that it can be used with. Yeah, a microfiber cloth has a compatibility list. Now I'm assuming the reason why they have this is they just want to list Apple devices in terms of liability. So in case this Apple polishing cloth decides to scratch or ends up scratching a device from say a competitor like Samsung, they just don't want to be liable for it. That's why they don't have it listed. But I'm positive as this is just another fabric, you could probably use it on any glass or any smooth surface that you need to clean. For the test, our very first item is going to be just a standard iPad Air. I smudged it up pretty good just by grazing my fingers over it, really getting the grease in there. And I'm going to be going over the screen three times, uh, just back and forth, no uh, circular motions to see how well this cloth does. And as you can see, for the most part, uh, a lot of the smudges have been removed, but there is some residual grease left and it didn't do the perfect job. Next up, we have an iPhone 12. Uh, same thing as the iPad, just smudged it up really well by uh, swiping it with my fingers, really getting the grease on there. And when I do this test, I don't really push very hard with the cloth. It's just a gentle swipe around. Uh, at the same time, I really don't want to damage the screen. Uh, there is a likelihood of doing that. But similarly, most of the grease is gone, but there's still some residual uh, smudging left. So not a perfect clean by any means, but it does the job for the most part. Now, lastly, a uh, very common device that most people have if you're Apple enthusiast is a MacBook. And this MacBook has not only smudging from, you know, fingerprints, but also some of the grease and indents from the keyboard. And so I just laid it down on the desk and I went at this in a circular motion. That's what the, the instruction manual for the MacBook recommends. Also, if you are cleaning a Mac device, make sure that it is turned off. That's what Apple recommends. Uh, I really went at this one to make sure the corners uh, as well as the edges were nice and clean. And for the most part, I was actually surprised. Uh, the MacBook screen was the easiest to clean and the easiest to remove the smudging from among all the Apple products I've tested. So if you are intending to use it just to clean the screen on your Mac and it, overall just cleaning the keypad, uh, this is actually pretty good. Still some smudging, but overall pretty good. Up next, I decided to test these on my glasses, something that's not an Apple device. And I noticed immediately that cleaning these with the microfiber cloth or the Apple polishing cloth was quite difficult. It wouldn't grip 
and I noticed that the cleaning was actually worse than a regular microfiber cloth. So in terms of anything that's not an Apple device, this polishing cloth isn't actually that useful in its cleaning. Now with all that being said, is this polishing cloth worth the money? And the answer is no. I would say that any microfiber cloth that's under $5 will do the job just fine. I think this product is more of a marketing gimmick that Apple decided to encroach on their customers. Uh, they know that anything with an Apple logo on it will sell, especially if it's under 30 bucks, regardless of what product that is. Now, I do notice that on particular glasses like the iPhone glass and the iPad glass, that the microfiber cloth does a great job of actually catching the grit and some of the larger particles just because how coarse the material is relative to other microfiber cloths. But like the test where you try cleaning other surfaces like a pair of glasses or anything else that has an anti-reflective coating, it actually might damage it. So I don't actually recommend using this on anything other than an Apple device. Buy the polishing cloth if you like, buy it for uh, a novelty item, buy it as an accessory, buy it for whatever. But uh, if you're just looking for a cloth or a specific cloth to clean your device or clean the glass of a device, I would probably buy the cheapest option and skip this. Thanks for watching this review and until next time, peace.